Hey guys, welcome back to Networkers on YouTube channel. And today in this video, we are going to see the basics of Linux. Okay, we'll see that once you install Linux and then what you'll see on the login screen, what are the display managers and about the terminal, desktop and all these things. Okay, so let's move on to the video. All right, so let me just log out this particular system. And from the beginning, I'll tell you. I'll go to the root and log out. So once we install the Linux and we start the Linux, we are going to see this particular screen. Here we'll see the user we have created while, the while we install the system. So during the installation, whatever user you will create, that will be visible here. And the root user, that will not be by default visible here. So if you want to log in with the root user, then you just simply just go to the not listed. Then in the username, you say root and say next. And in the password field, you give in the password of the root user and then say sign in. Okay. <clears throat> so once you sign in, you'll see the desktop in front of you. Okay. And this is the current desktop view. Okay. This is how the desktop currently looks like. So right now you see here, this is the activities button. And if you click on this activities button, then you'll get some application, you'll get a search bar and this side you'll get the workspaces. Okay. And we'll be discussing about the workspaces in a bit, but before that, this is the current desktop arrangement. Okay. And if I right click on the desktop, in that case, I'm seeing three options. One is the change background, display settings and settings. So this is all what I see on the desktop right now. Okay. And if I see the date and time, they are here. And then here I have the notification bar and the power button. So here I have the option for the volumes. Then if I want to connect or disconnect my internet connection, if I want to log out my user or change my user, or if I want to log off or go to the settings or the power button. Okay, so this is my current desktop setup or I can say a view of the display manager. Now, if I want to change the display manager, let me go and change. So for changing the display manager, I'll go to the root and I will log out. Once I log out, and I'll try to log in again and I will change the display manager and I'll see how does it change the view of the desktop. So I'll go to the not listed. Then I'll say again, username root, hit enter. Then from the gear icon near the sign in button, I'll change the display manager and I'll say Xenome Classic. And let me turn off this on-screen keyboard. Okay. Now I'll give them the password. So password is CentOS. I'll hit enter. So this time I have changed the display manager to Genome Classic, right? So now we'll see how does the display arrangement changes. Earlier we didn't see any icons on the desktop, but this time we see some icons on the desktop. And instead of activities, we have the applications. If I click on the application, there is a drop down. Okay. Then I have the places. So in the places, I have some common places like directly I can go to the home documents, downloads, music, all these folders, or else I can go to the computer, I can go to the DVD, or I can browse the network. Similarly, my date and time was in the center. Now it has been shifted to the right hand side. And if I click on the power button, <coughs> I have the same options. Okay, then if I press the Windows key, there's nothing. Earlier we were seeing some icons and a search bar and the workspaces this side. So the workspaces, they have now shifted on this right hand side corner and we are seeing some icons and if i right click on the desktop so earlier i was just seeing three options 
one is the change background display settings and settings but right now if i check so i will see multiple options that i can create a new folder here i can select all of them i can paste i can keep them aligned i can organize my desktop by name i can change the backgrounds and i can open that means more number of options are there okay now if i discuss about the workspaces so what are these workspaces workspaces is like let's say right now you are using one application let's say i'm using this home application okay so this is open and i want to do a certain different task but for that i need a clean desktop so i can just go and change the workspace i can simply go here and click on the second workspace and you see now i have a clean desktop so let's say i will open the cd here in the second workspace i will open the cd not opening okay now it is opening so here i can open the second workspace in the second workspace i have the cd again i want a new desktop i can just move on to the third one and i can let's say i will open the trash application <clears throat> and now i have the trash application so this is how i can choose multiple empty desktop or clean desktops okay so if you want to go back you can just switch over the workspaces and you can use that particular application and once you are done with the using you can just go and close the applications that's it okay so you can prefer any of the display managers as of your choice okay i prefer the other one because i get a search option so that makes it easier for accessing the applications and all so i'll just go back and select the xenom instead of xenom classic So here I'll go to not listed, then I'll say root. And before typing in the password, I'll just change it to Zeno and then I'll give the password. Okay. So now again I have access to the Zeno. And now if I bring in the or i hit that window key in that case i will see some applications this side i will see the workspaces and i have a search bar so anytime i want to access an application i can just simply go and type in the name of the application and it is going to search it for me okay so now the application will be mostly working on in your linux system that is your terminal application okay so let me just open the terminal so you can just go here you can press the window key and then you can access it from here or you can press the window key and type in terminal and just click enter and this will open so once the terminal opens this is how your terminal window is going to look like okay so now this is the default terminal window if you want to increase the text size okay if you want to increase the text size then you can press the key control shift and plus and if you press control shift and plus you see the text size is increasing okay so you can increase the text size by pressing the key control plus shift and plus means you have to press control shift you can say control shift and plus these are the keys you have to press all together control shift and plus so once you press the control shift plus key this will be your <clears throat> text increasing okay your text size will increase and when you want to decrease the text size in that case you have to press control and minus so if you press control and minus your text size will decrease you can see it can go very small to a very big okay control shift plus to increase the text size and control shift minus to decrease the text size and when you want to reset it back to normal simply control plus oh, sorry control zero so once you press control and minus that will reduce the text size okay and 
if you want to reset, simply say control and zero. That will reset the text size. Okay. Right now, I'll just increase it a little bit. Then, this is it. Okay. Now, let's say you want to open a new tab. Right now, you are working in this particular tab and you want to execute some other command. So for that, you need another terminal. So instead of going to the window key and opening a new terminal, what you can do, you can just simply open a new tab within this particular terminal only. And how you can open a new tab? You can op open a new tab by pressing the key Control Shift and T. Okay. So whenever you press Control Shift T, it is going to open a new tab. Control Shift and T. So let's say I have opened four tabs. Okay. Now. Whenever you want to switch between the tabs, let's say you want to go to the tab one, tab two, tab three, or tab four. In that case, you just need to press Alt and with the number of the tab. Let's say I want to go through the tab one, so I'll say one. So you see, right now I'm in the tab one. If I want to go in the second, so Alt two. So let's say this is the number two. I want to go in the third tab, so I'll say Alt three. So this is the third tab. Alt four. Then I'm in the fourth tab. Okay. Let's check again. Alt 1, tab number 1. Alt 2, tab number 2. Alt 3, tab number 3. Alt 4, tab number 4. So this is how you can create multiple tabs in your terminal. And then you can switch between the tabs by using Alt and the number of the tab. Okay. All right. Now, what if you want to close the tabs? So if you want to close the tabs, you have to press Control, Shift and W. So when you press Control, Shift and W, it is going to close the current tab. Okay, Control, Shift and W. You see, done. Control, Shift, W, closed. Control, Shift, W, closed. This is how you can close the tabs. So for opening the tabs, you have control shift plus for closing the tabs you have control shift oh, sorry for opening new tabs control shift t and for closing the tabs control shift w okay and for switching between the tabs you have the alt with the number of the tab okay now what if you want to open new window in that case what you'll do simply control shift and n so when you press Control Shift N, a new window will open. Again, Control Shift N. Again, a new window is going to open. Again, Control Shift N. Again, a new window is going to open. And when you want to close the windows or when you want to switch between the windows, in that case, Alt Tab. So Alt Tab will help you switch between the windows. You see, any window you want to switch in. So you can switch between the windows by using the key Alt and <clears throat> tab okay so when you want to close current tab let's say i want to close any of the tab okay so let me change it let's say right now i'm working in this particular tab and i want to i mean this particular window and i want to close it so we'll say control shift and w again control shift and w tab will be closed again control shift and w tab will be closed sorry control shift Q to quit the tab. Working a little slow. Control Shift Q. Okay, this is working a little bit slow. Control Shift Q. This will quit the tab. Okay. Again, let me open the terminal. So if I tell you what are these shortcuts, so let me open the text editor. Lots of T. Open the text editor. Okay, or let me just open Windows Notepad so that will be easier. Okay, so first of all, control, shift, 
plus this is to increase x size. Okay. Then we have control shift minus to decrease x size. Then you have control zero. Okay. What this is going to do? Reset text size. Then after we have about the tabs. This is about the text size. First is about text size. Okay. Then we have managing terminal tabs. For managing terminal tabs, you will press Control Shift T. And this will open a new tab. Then you can switch between the tabs by using Alt plus any number. Okay. This is tab number. So whatever number you press, one, two, three, with the Alt key. So this will switch between the tabs. Okay, then you can say control plus shift plus W to close the current tab. Close current tab. Then if we talk about terminal window, okay, for managing terminal windows, we have Control, Shift, N. So this is going to open a new window. Then you will press Alt and Tab key to switch between the tabs. Sorry, switch between the windows. switch between the terminal windows, okay? Little bit slow, okay. Then control save Q to close current. Okay, these are some of the shortcuts that you can use inside your terminal. Okay. Then some other short other shortcuts, let me tell you. You can press control and A. So your cursor will move beginning of the command, beginning of the command. And if you press control and E, your cursor will move to end of the command. Okay. So let me show you this thing. So if I open the terminal, okay, let's say I'm typing any random command. For example, this is not a command, but anything I'm typing here. Now I want that my cursor should move to the beginning. So I'll press control A. Okay, and my cursor will move to the beginning. And if I press control E, this will move back to the end. So control A is for the beginning and control E is for the end. Okay. So this is how you can play around with the terminal.
okay so i hope this thing is clear okay and for this video we'll just keep it small only okay and in the next video we'll start with the basic comments okay so i'll see you in the next video till then bye guys Thank you.